Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in with me again today. Um, today I wanted to come by and film a tutorial. I'm going to be heading out soon and I'm going to do um, an updo protective style using the Marley braid hair. What I've done is I've already washed, conditioned, deep conditioned. I've done my moisturizing routine, um, so I'm ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so like I said, I've already washed, deep conditioned my hair, done my moisturizing routine, all that st good stuff off camera just so that this uh, video wouldn't be super long. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my hair out of all of its sections. Oh, it feels so good. I put um, shea butter, my shea butter mix on and my hair is loving it. Last week when I did this, style I didn't really moisturize properly um I was stressed pressed for time and I actually didn't even wash my hair beforehand I did the style on dirty hair so um I would really you can do it on dirty hair but I would strongly advise you to do it on clean fresh clean hair and very well properly moisturized hair um because your hair is going to be tucked it's going to be put up and your ends are going to be tucked away and you want it to retain as much moisture as possible. My hair right now, I would say, is probably, uh, it's probably about 80% dry. It's still pretty shrunken. Um, I just let it air dry. It's probably been air drying for like, you know, 30 minutes or so. Um, and it's, oh, I'm just gonna let it rock out like that because quite frankly, I don't have the time. And um, like I said, I want it to be nice and moist because I'm gonna put it away. Okay, enough talk. So. What you're going to need is a lot of gel. My, my problem is I don't have a whole lot of gel left. Like I scraped the bottom of this just to like uh, get something for the last style. So I have a little bit more of the olive oil eco styler gel. Uh, so we'll see how that so goes. So the first thing you want to do is kind of gather all of your hair up to the top of your head. And this is actually probably where the style being done on damp or um, you know dry hair is probably a little bit easier. This is gonna take me a little bit longer to work with because my hair is still so wet that it keeps wanting to curl back up on me. So it's okay, I'm gonna work with it. You're gonna fix the edges and everything in a minute. The main thing you want to do right here is just get all of your hair going in the same direction. I like to just give myself a light brush. Now this brush isn't trying to, you know, get through my hair or anything. I just want to keep smoothing up. And the other thing you'll notice, guys, is that I'm keeping a tight control over my hair that I've gathered at the top because if I just let this go, my hair is going to completely go right back where it was and I don't want to spend all my time fighting my hair. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take my hair tie and I'm gonna secure that really well. I'm actually gonna take two hair ties. One I'm gonna use a smaller one and I'm gonna I'm gonna double up on this goodie band because I want this really nice and secure. I don't want it tight, but I want it secure. I don't want it to go anywhere. To the side like that, I make a little bun. Okay, now this is the part where you're gonna gel, 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 and so you can't gel anymore. So I'm going to take my ponytail down now that I've gelled everything up and I'm just going to kind of re redo it just so I can get a really nice smooth finish. I would advise using a hard bristle brush versus a soft one. Um, it's just I can't find my hard one right now so I'm using this one. It's kind of soft and it's really only getting the outside layer of my hair, which, I mean, it's it's okay. But if you had a harder bristle brush, it would really be able to smooth everything down. 
So just keep that in mind. If you don't want to use a hard one, you don't have to. I want to make sure it's nice and sleek and slick down. So just take your time. Whatever area you feel like you need to work with, you take your time, you work with it, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure my hair back at the top of my head. Okay guys, so I have gelled my hair to my satisfaction. Now you wanna be pretty quick with this part because even though your hair is gelled up, it's not dry, so it can, it's still gonna be trying to curl back up on you. Ooh, those edges is late, honey. Okay. <laughs> So I just like to start in the back and bring it up to the front, cross it over and secure it down tightly and I'll tie it in the back. I just went and got another scarf just so that I can secure the front um, because I don't want slick in the back and poofy in the front. And I know this seems like a lot, but trust me, your style will thank you in the long run. Okay, so I'm nice and secure. Now, if you want, you can just go ahead. If you have time, you can let your hair air dry. You can just stay like this 15, 20 minutes. Um, you could even do this the night before. I am um, trying to get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to use my Layla Ali bonnet hair dryer and I'm gonna do a review video on that so stay tuned for that a review video is coming on this I promise um, but I'm just gonna go under here for probably uh, 15 or 20 minutes um, it shouldn't really take that long for this gel to set and then I'll be back hey guys okay I'm back so as you can see I've removed my scarves and that really helps to slick everything down set everything I mean my hair is late. Honey. Moving right along to the next part, you want to get your Marley hair, and um, you want to go ahead, take as large or small of a section as you want to. I'm making mine. Mm, I want a kind of a natural look, um, and so I'm not going to take you know a huge, huge section here. I don't want like this big mound off my head. I just want something really soft and natural looking. So I secured it like this, and what I did was I took the two halves and I twisted them. Um, this one side I twisted the entire section. This one I broke it into two sections and twisted them. So I have three sections. And I just like this um, because I like the different widths of how the twists look while it's wrapped up. It looks really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and loop this around my little bun that I have. Make sure that's on there nice and secure, nice and snug. Okay, so. <laughs> This is cute, right? Like this? All right. Um, <laughs> so what you're going to do now is I'm going to take the larger of the twists and I'm going to wrap it around itself. Now I'm gonna go, I want it to be loose in the front and tighter when I get to the back because I want my bun to kind of, as it's swirling, I want it to more swirl towards my forehead. So. I'm just going to start wrapping this and I'm going to start pinning. Okay, so that's one down. I'm gonna go ahead. What is wrong with this picture, guys? My hair is done. Oh, I am so upset. My battery died. I just don't have any time to do this later so I'm just gonna show you the finished product this is how it's looking this is the finished product on the other side 
And I'm really sorry guys, I hope I get another opportunity to do this tutorial, but I gotta go, I'm on my way out the door right now, but I just wanted to come on and show you guys my final look, okay? So this is my turban, bun, updo, protective style thing, <laughs> using Marley braid here. Alright guys, I hope everyone has a fantastic day out there today, and I will see you on the next video.